Imagine a barren landscape devoid of life. Perhaps a volcanic eruption has left behind only cooled lava flows, or a retreating glacier has scraped the earth bare. This seemingly lifeless scene is not the end. It is the beginning of ecological succession. Ecological succession is the process by which ecosystems change over time. Life reclaims barren land, transforming it into a thriving ecosystem, driven by the interplay of organisms and their environment. Understanding this process is vital for comprehending the web of life on Earth. It reveals how ecosystems respond to disturbances and highlights nature's resilience. In the following sections, we will delve into ecological succession. Primary succession occurs in areas where there is no pre-existing soil, such as on bare rock, sand dunes or newly formed volcanic islands. The first life forms to colonize these harsh environments are known as pioneer species. These hardy organisms possess remarkable adaptations that allow them to survive and thrive in seemingly inhospitable conditions. Lichens, a symbiotic partnership between fungi and algae, are often the first pioneers to appear. These remarkable organisms can withstand extreme temperatures, drought and nutrient-poor conditions. Lichens slowly break down the rock surface through chemical weathering. They release acids that dissolve the rock, gradually creating tiny crevices where soil can begin to accumulate. As lichens die and decompose, they contribute organic matter to the developing soil. This organic matter, along with weathered rock fragments, forms a thin layer of primitive soil. This process may seem incredibly slow, but over time it creates conditions suitable for the arrival of new species. With the formation of even a rudimentary soil layer, the stage is set for the arrival of new plant life. Mosses, with their ability to retain moisture, often follow lichens. They further enrich the soil, making it more hospitable for other plants. As the soil layer deepens and nutrient levels increase, grasses, ferns and wildflowers begin to take root. These plants, with their deeper roots, further stabilize the soil and prevent erosion. Insects and other small animals are drawn to this burgeoning ecosystem, adding their own contributions to the developing food web. Over time, larger plants like shrubs and fast-growing trees emerge, outcompeting the earlier colonizers for sunlight and resources. These larger plants cast more shade, creating a more humid environment that favors the growth of shade-tolerant species. The ecosystem gradually transitions from a simple open landscape to a more complex and stratified community. Section 4 a tapestry of ecosystems climax communities around the world. The final stage of succession is the climax community. This is a stable and self-sustaining ecosystem that is in equilibrium with its environment. The specific composition of a climax community varies depending on factors like climate, soil type, and altitude. In some regions, the climax community might be a lush forest dominated by towering trees. These forests are characterized by high biodiversity with a complex interplay of plant and animal life. The Amazon rainforest, for example, is a prime example of a climax forest ecosystem. In other areas, the climax community might be a grassland, a desert, or a tundra. Each of these ecosystems has its unique characteristics and adaptations to its particular environment. Deserts, for example, are characterized by low rainfall and extreme temperatures. The plants and animals that inhabit deserts have evolved remarkable adaptations to survive in these harsh conditions. Section 5. Nature's Resilience, Secondary Succession and Ecological Restoration. Disturbances reset the successional clock, leading to secondary succession. Secondary succession occurs where a disturbance has removed vegetation but left the soil intact. A classic example is forest regrowth after a wildfire. Fire creates opportunities for new growth. We can assist in ecosystem restoration through remediation. Section 6. Understanding succession, a key to environmental stewardship. Ecological succession is a testament to the remarkable resilience of nature. It is a process of renewal and regeneration of life adapting and thriving in the face of change. Understanding this process is crucial for our role as stewards of the planet. 
By studying ecological succession, we gain insights into how ecosystems function, how they respond to disturbances, and how we can best manage and conserve them. This knowledge is essential for addressing pressing environmental challenges such as climate change, habitat loss, and biodiversity decline. As we continue to learn from nature, we can apply the principles of ecological succession to restore degraded lands, conserve biodiversity, and create a more sustainable future for all.